Hey guys, it's the Instant Camera Guy here. Um, in this video, I just wanted to explain a little bit about the Impossible Project for Octone, um, about what it is, what it does, and how to install one properly if you want to buy one. Um, so if you own a Polaroid 600 camera um, that doesn't have the Impossible Project for Octone, you may have noticed the sh um, little uh, plastic tongue that flicks out over the image when your film ejects. Now, it all happens very quickly, so don't be alarmed if you haven't noticed this happen, but pretty much what happens is a little pla piece of plastic will roll out as your image ejects, and as it ejects the whole way, it will quickly snap back inside. Now, back in the day when Polaroid still made film, the film was light sensitive for the first few milliseconds, and so as the film ejected, it, need something, it needed something to shield it from the light. Um, after those first few milliseconds, a layer of chemicals would spread out over the film emulsion and actually then help shield it from the sunlight. Um, but until those chemicals were active, it needed that little bit of plastic tongue um, just to go out over the top. Otherwise, your image would end up looking very washed out if you were shooting in broad daylight because the film would become overexposed. Now, fast forward to these days and film is being made by the Impossible Project. Now, long story short, when Impossible Project took over Polaroid's old factory, they needed to start entirely from scratch. So this meant making new film emulsion and new developing chemicals for the film. Now, these first few batches of films didn't have that protective chemical layer that Polaroid's film does. This meant that as they were ejected from the camera, the film needed to be shielded from light all the time while it developed or else it would get washed out. This meant that the original tongues on the cameras simply weren't going to uh, cut the mustard, they just weren't going to do the job properly. And so, something needed to, to be done. Um, a lot of people got around it just by holding their hands over it to shield it. That still wasn't very effective, so Impossible Project came up with a longer version of the frog tongue, which, as it rolled out over the film, would stay there. Um, and so if I just get the tongue out, to show you if it wants to show its head. So, as your film would eject, this little plastic tongue would literally just roll over your film and stay there, shielding your image. Now, this video, as I'm recording it, it's currently April in 2013, and Impossible Project have come up with a new batch of film that doesn't need as much shielding. They say it doesn't really need any shielding, but in my uh, experience, if you're shooting on a very bright sunny day, like at the beach, it's still best to shield a little bit. So you might want to invest in a photo, uh, in, in a, a photo protecting frog tongue, if your images are coming out a bit washed out and a bit orange looking. Um, this can be a way to help prevent it. The other benefit of having a frog tongue is it means if you do end up with one of the older batches of film, you're not going to be worrying around uh, trying to shield the film as it comes out quickly because the tongue's going to be doing it for you. So, the, the process of installing the new frog tongue is actually very easy. Um, when you buy the frog tongue, it comes with a set of instruction booklets uh, of Impossible Project's official method. Um, and what Impossible Project tell you to do is to take a little screwdriver, such as this one, and basically pop the front bar off from the front here. Now that's fine, and that technique works, but your camera may end up like, looking like it's been attacked by a grizzly bear by the end of it, um, because it's a very good way of damaging all that front plastic. A better way to do it is to open up the film door like that, and this will give you access from the inside. Now, in front of these metal rollers here, you'll see the little tabs holding, um, poking through that actually hold on that plastic bar that holds the frog tongue on. And so what you're going to do is just get your screwdriver, lift up on those tabs, and just push through until the bar just pops off. And there you go, it's as easy as that. So now, you can take off your old tongue, put on the new frog tongue, and away you go. Now one interesting thing to note is that some model Polaroid 600 cameras actually had three tabs to hold on this front bar. Now Impossible Project sort of forgot to think about that when they invented the new frog tongue. And so if you're one of the unfortunate people who does have the three little tabs to hold on your frog tongue, what you will need to do is take a pair of scissors, and just cut a little rectangle out to stick that middle tab through. Um, alternatively, you could always snap the third tab off your 
off your uh, frog tongue bar there, but why ruin a perfectly good part of your camera when you can just cut off the bar? Um, so then it's just a matter of getting your new frog tongue, attaching it to the bar like so, and just reinserting onto the camera. And there you go. Absolutely no cosmetic change whatsoever, and it makes your life a heck of a lot easier. That's pretty much all I have to say. Um, thanks for watching, guys.